I have designed the Shopify web page in Figma. You can see that this is the original image that I have taken from the Shopify website. And uh, I just replicated the same uh, inside Figma to show you that how we can make a responsive design within Figma using the Figma constraints and uh, auto layout using the wrap properties. This image is designed for desktop where the screen width is 1440 pixels and uh, I will make changes to these objects in the image to show you that how we can make uh, this design responsive by setting a few properties and uh, by doing a little customization. So let me explain the structure of this uh, page so you can understand the layout and it would be easier to follow the changes. So we have a header here and uh, there are two sections of content on the page. The header has three elements, the Shopify logo and the main header navigation and a couple of actions on the right side. Then we have this first section of content. Uh, this has uh, a textual uh, header and a little description and an action item. And uh, there is an image on the right side. And this second section of content, it also includes some textual content on the top, including header and description. And there is an image below that header. So when I try to resize the screen, uh, you can see that nothing is responsive here. And uh, the image content is being cut from the right side. So let's start making it responsive. First, I will work on this uh, header element. So this is a frame. First, I will ungroup this frame to apply the constraint properties to each element separately. Click on this header, right click and uh, select this ungroup from the context menu. Select this Shopify logo and uh, you can see that constraints are set to left and top. Just leave as is so that the content will remain stick to the left when the screen is resized. Select this menu navigation menu auto layout is applied over here and constraints are set to left and top so just change this left to center so that the navigation menu will uh, remain in the center of the page when the screen is resized now select this uh, right element actions and uh, you can see that auto layout properties applied here the constraints are set to left and top change this left to right so that the element would remain stick to the right side when the screen is resized so i have set the properties for all three elements of the header now let's resize the screens to see that how it works so you can see that elements are stick to the right and left of the page and uh, while navigation menu is remain at the center we'll, we will work on this navigation menu again for small size screen so it is great that our header is now uh, behaving as responsive. So let's move to the original size and uh, let's start working on the other sections of the page. You can see that we have uh, two frames over here. This is content one and this image is also placed inside a frame which is named as image one. Let's select these two frames and uh, add them to a parent frame right click and uh, select this frame selection let's name this frame as section one now i will add the auto layout to this frame by clicking this add button and uh, you can see that auto layout is applied over here with the horizontal gap of 130 pixels i will set the auto layout to wrap here so that the content would be wrapped when the image is um, when this uh, screen is resized and uh, let me select this zero and uh, i can resize this frame okay let's select this to the align right to keep the page alignment um, accurately Let me move this to a little above so that it will remain aligned at the same level with the image. Later we can see that how we need to adjust it on the smaller screen. Now 
select this uh, header this uh, textual header and uh, set the horizontal resizing property to fill container select this description and set the property to fill container resizing property uh, let me move the frame size to keep it as previous the property of uh, resizing property of this element is set as hug just let it as is okay now select this whole frame content one and again set the resizing property to fill container now if i select this frame and resize it you can see that text has started uh, wrapping itself but there is no limit to the uh, minimum width of this frame let me set a minimum width to this frame so that when the screen is resized the text will remain at a certain uh, minimum width so i am selecting this frame and uh, clicking the width property add minimum width i am setting it to 486 so this red line actually shows that that this content will be resized up to this level up to this point okay so let me select this parent frame and resize it so you can see that uh, wrapping properties is applied here but we need to work a little more to make it a uh, make it a smooth resizing behavior so i'm selecting the undo okay select this whole frame set as fill container select this parent frame and set the constraint property to scale so when the screen is resized this whole uh, frame would be scale accordingly so let me see how it works so you can see that when i am resizing the screen the section one of this content is actually resizing itself is actually scaling as the screen is resized and if I resize it further, the wrap property is also applied and the content is adjusting itself. So we will see that how to uh, adjust the spacing for the small screen size. Let's move it back to 1440 pixel. So let's keep this frame as is and uh, start working on this setting second section of the page. And then we will adjust the screen size to the tablet size, screen width to a tablet width and see that how to adjust different elements. So let's uh, work on this second section. So this is uh, second section of the frame and we have two objects here. First one is this uh, content to frame containing the textual uh, items here. And the second one is an image so first let's uh, select these two and uh, create a parent frame and i would name that as section 2 select both frame selection and you can see this section 2 i am select setting the auto layout properties here just the center align change it to align left okay so let's work on this content section first select this title and uh, change the resizing property to fill container select this description and again select this to fill container resize this whole frame to adjust its size Now when I try to resize this frame, you can see that it is working. Text started wrapping itself. Select this image and uh, since this is already below the text, so we would be setting some different properties here. Select this image property and for this section fill, instead of fill, I am selecting here fit. So that this image will remain fit inside the image area when the screen is resized. So select this frame. Select this content 2 and set fill container. Select the whole frame. 
and uh, set the constraint property to scale <laughs> so you can see image is not working correctly select this image and set the resizing property to fill container okay let's see again by resizing now you can see that it is working fine the text and image are behaving responsive when i am resizing the frame and let's check for the whole screen you can see that almost everything is responsive over here right so let me copy this image here for tablet screen size we have work on all these elements all these screen objects okay so for tablet we are using the width as 1024 pixels so i would select this image and resize it to 1024 now we need to adjust the position of these two frames manually since uh, figma does not allow to apply constraints to any objects uh, within an auto layout frames so it was not possible to use an auto layout to this entire frame to adjust the positions automatically we need to do it manually so first resize this whole frame to have some more space over here then move this frame to the bottom right you can see adjust the say, size of this frame okay just move this frame to the whole area and and set the alignment to the center of the page if you want you can actually resize this image within the frame to make it a to make it a little bigger right you can adjust its space then move this second frame at a reasonable height select this image and resize it to remove the white spacing on the top and bottom of the image okay can okay, adjust the gradient of this page right so one thing we need to add to adjust here we can resize this image a little yeah one thing we need to adjust here this navigation menu and these right actions okay these small screens actually do not display this whole menu instead we will use a menu icon here and change this button as well so let's adjust it okay i'm enabling the grid again let's remove this menu or hide it or you can simply press the delete button to remove it let me open the plugin to select the menu icon let's use this i'm adding this icon within the same actions frame let's see we need to adjust the position of this frame to adjust the alignment okay so instead of this whole button we would be using this textual button to show the same action over here start free trial so let's hide this button and you can remove this just underline it let's remove this button right adjust the spacing here let's hide these grid so you can see that our layout of this page is actually adjusted to the tablet size you can adjust the spacing according to your requirements next we would work on the mobile screen size for the same layout let me 
copy this design and uh, make changes for mobile for mobile we are using a 500 pixel width the screen this design is already responsive so we will change the width to 500 and make necessary adjustments okay right let's enable the grids we can resize this logo a bit smaller we can change the font size let's resize this text to adjust this at the available space since we already resize this frame for this particular tablet size image we can resize it for the mobile as well and let's change the property of the image as fit here so that it can fit inside its frame and then we can easily resize it to adjust inside the parent frame we can adjust its size to reduce the space then we can move this frame above and uh, again adjust this image we have changed the font size to 34 let's make it as well 34 and uh, this tool We can resize the screen and uh, adjust the gradient levels. So this responsive design is converted to the mobile size screen. Uh, we have created a responsive design by setting constraints and auto layout properties along with the wrap settings. So this responsive design is easily adjustable to small screen devices as we have created here for tablet and mobile screens. Thank you for watching and let's meet for another tutorial soon.